This truck had to go back to the shop 19 times. The owners were tired of returning to dealerships for tweaks. Some of these trucks don't even deserve to be called pickups because of how poorly they performed. These are 10 of the absolute worst pickups in American history. But before we kick things off, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Truck and Roll to keep up with all our awesome content. At number 10, it's the Chevy SSR series. First things first, calling the SSR a pickup truck is a stretch. It lacked power, couldn't handle heavy-duty tasks, and frankly, its performance was subpar compared to regular cars. No wonder Chevy struggled to move these off the lots, selling just over 24,000 units from 2003 to 2006. That's barely scratching the surface, with sales never even reaching 9,000 units per year. And let's not beat around the bush. The design was, well, questionable. Some might even say it looked like something straight out of a toy box. Not at all what you'd expect from a serious pickup truck. Needless to say, it received its fair share of criticism from all angles. But hey, every brand has its missteps, right? Take this next brand as an example. At number 9, it's the Nissan Titan. This pickup entered the ring swinging but didn't quite land all its punches. With a towing capacity of over 9,000 pounds and a beefy 5.6-liter V8 engine churning out 305 horsepower, it had some muscle. But it had a few too many weaknesses that made it downright terrible. Many owners found themselves annoyed by the frequent oil changes needed, especially starting from the 2014 model year. Keeping up with maintenance became a bit of a headache. And then there were the recalls, 19 of them to be precise. That's a lot of trips back to the dealership for fixes and tweaks. Despite its powerful engine and its ability to handle heavy loads, the Titan just couldn't shake off its reputation as one of the less favored trucks of its time. Interestingly, the name Titan was chosen to evoke a sense of strength and power, a direct challenge to the established American full-size pickups. But as they say, the proof is in the pudding, and the Titan didn't quite live up to its name in the eyes of many truck enthusiasts. And the same can be said for this next pickup. Now, at number 8, it's the 1972 Ford Courier. This is a truck that didn't quite make it onto Ford's highlight reel. Sure, it had a 1.8-liter OHV i4 engine and a 4-speed manual transmission, which sounded pretty impressive at first. But when it came to getting the job done, this vehicle fell short. It just wasn't cut out for heavy-duty tasks, and that's a big disappointment for a pickup. And let's not forget about its appearance. Inside and out, the Courier showed its flaws. It didn't age well, to say the least. Unlike fine wine, it didn't get better with time. In fact, it's not the kind of truck you'd find in a collector's garage, which can be said for a lot of the vehicles on this list, just like this next one. At number 7, it's the 2006 Honda Ridgeline. The Ridgeline didn't quite hit the mark. It's got a smaller bed compared to other trucks, which means it's not great for hauling stuff around as you'd expect from a truck. And get this, it only got worse with time. Turns out, it's not the most reliable ride out there. The build quality of this vehicle was a real letdown, and it's no wonder it didn't win any popularity contests. Nowadays, you won't catch many folks singing its praises or lining up to buy one. It's like a dark cloud hanging over Honda's reputation in the truck world. But this next pickup might be even worse. At number 6, it's the 1976 Dodge Ram Charger. Folks are surprised to this day this thing was approved for production. Despite its hefty size, it doesn't have what it takes to be called a pickup. Under the hood, you'd find a massive 7.2-liter V8 engine, available in both rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive setups. On paper, it looked like it could handle some serious towing, boasting a capacity of 6,000 pounds. But when it came down to it, this truck fell short in almost every department. Fuel efficiency? Nope, not great. Ride comfort? Nothing to write home about. And let's not even get started on the interior quality or safety concerns. It seemed like Dodge missed the mark on just about every aspect of this vehicle. In the end, the 1976 Dodge Ram Charger felt like a missed opportunity. With so many issues plaguing it, it's no wonder why it's considered one of the worst pickups ever made, just like this next one. At number 5, it's the 2015 Dodge Ram 2500. It's got to be said, this pickup does have a great engine. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows with this truck. Some owners have reported issues with body durability, which is surprising considering it's built to handle tough jobs. 
On top of that, there have been complaints about turbocharger failures and transmission clutch problems. And to add insult to injury, some folks have had issues with the power equipment not functioning correctly. It might be great on paper, but with all those issues, it's definitely not reliable in the least, which is a common pattern on this list. Just take a look at this next pickup. Now at number four, it's the Jeep Comanche. This little guy was Jeep's attempt to break into the compact pickup scene. They basically took their famous off-road prowess and mashed it up with the utility of a pickup. Under the hood, you'd find a 4.0 liter inline six engine pumping out a modest 115 horsepower. Now in terms of hauling stuff, the Comanche could handle a payload of up to 1,600 pounds and tow up to 5,000 pounds, which ain't too shabby. But here's the kicker. Despite its off-road chops, the Comanche was the one and only pickup truck ever produced by Jeep. Yeah, you heard that right. They gave it a shot, but it just didn't quite hit the mark as a pickup. And you know what they say, actions speak louder than words. The fact that Jeep didn't continue down the truck path after the Comanche tells you all you need to know about its performance in the market. And this next pickup was just as abandoned. At number three, it's the 1976 Cadillac Mirage. Now this vehicle might not ring any bells for most folks today, but back in its heyday, it was basically the bottom of the barrel when it came to pickups. Fast forward a few decades, and it's still considered one of the worst rides ever to hit the road. That's saying something. Now, when this truck first hit the scene, folks were scratching their heads. It's like someone slapped the back end of a station wagon onto a pickup and called it a day. And let's not even get started on its performance. Compared to other trucks of its time, it was about as powerful as a hamster on a wheel. And that's quite similar to the next entry on this list. At number two, it's the GMC S15. This is easily one of the worst pickups ever made. Under the hood, the S15 boasted a 2.8 liter V6 engine that pumped out a modest 110 horsepower. And it could even tow up to 4,000 pounds, which was pretty impressive for its time. But here's where things went south, the brakes. Many folks who bought the S15 found themselves dealing with brake issues left and right. From premature wear to brakes that felt like they had a mind of their own, it was a mess. And as truck buyers started craving more from their rides, the S15 just couldn't keep up. Finally, there's just one other pickup that's even worse. And at number one, that's the Lincoln Blackwood. This was a truck that aimed to woo the upscale crowd, just like its Mercedes counterpart, the X-Class. Now, the big shot behind this idea was none other than Ford's CEO, Jacques Nasser. He thought, hey, why not slap a fancy trunk on this truck instead of a regular old flatbed? But here's the thing. Customers weren't exactly thrilled about it. Who wants a pickup that can't even haul more than a set of golf clubs, right? So needless to say, the whole trunk idea didn't sit too well with them. The Blackwood only stuck around for one model year, but it took nearly three years for it to sell out. So while it might have had its sights set on the luxury market, the Blackwood stint on the scene was anything but smooth sailing. That's all for the 10 worst pickups in American history. But if you want to look at some rare pickups, make sure to click on this next video.